Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel, Tutorial by Sir Raiman. My name is Mr. Jem Raiman Ischen, Master Teacher 2 from Escalante Central Elementary School. Click like and share if this video tutorial helps you. Don't forget to click subscribe below to keep updated for my future tutorial. For your suggestions, especially on the topic for my next tutorial, please leave your comment below. Hope you learned something in my video lessons for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Stay home and stay safe. Let us have first the what I know part of your lesson 1. For this activity, match column A to column B. Just answer the letter only, okay? Now for number 1, cube. Number 2, cylinder. Number 3, cone. Number 4, pyramid. Number 5, rectangular prism. And number 6, sphere. We will look for column B, the correct figure described in column A. Number one, what do you think is the answer? Cube. Correct. Cube is letter B. Next, cylinder. Cylinder is letter D. Next, number three, cone. Cone is letter? Letter F. Very good. Pyramid. Sanjan ang pyramid? Yes, letter C. Number five, rectangular prism. Correct. Letter E. And number six, spear. Saan dyan ang spear? Spear is letter? Letter A. Let's proceed to part B. For part two, letter B, describe the following figures. Alam ko na medyo mahirap yung part na to kasi... Walang option na ibibigay sa inyo. But, try to answer it in your own words. Okay? Number one, cube. What do you think is the description of the cube? Nakakita na ba kayo ng cube? Diyan kayo magsisimula. How to describe the cube? It is a prism with a square base. All its faces are squares. So that is... How to describe a cube? Rectangular prism. What is rectangular prism? Have you seen one? Okay. Rectangular prism, it is composed of two rectangular bases and four rectangular lateral faces. Next, pyramid. I know the word pyramid is somewhat common to you. How do you describe pyramid? Mm-hmm. Yes, it is a polyhedron whose base is a polygon and the lateral faces are triangles. Next, cone. And how do you describe that? Yes, the cone, it has one circular base. Cylinder. Cylinder, it has two circular base that are congruent and parallel. Number six, spear. Yes, the ball is a spear. And how do you describe spear? Yes, it is a curved surface of points that are all of the same distance from the center. This time, we will proceed to your what's in part of the module. Now, direction. Identify the solid figure that is represented in each item. Number one, can of milk. What's that? What kind of solid figure is a can of milk? What kind of solid figure is that? Yes, that's a cylinder. Number two, funnel. Funnel looks like this. So what solid figure is that? Yes, that's a cone. Number three, orange. The orange fruit. That one. What? Solid figure is that? Yes, that's a spear. Number four, shoebox. This is a shoebox. So what figure is this? Yes, that's rectangular prism. Next, number five, tent. That one, that's, yes, that's a pyramid. 
Number six, soccer ball. Soccer ball is? Yes, that's spear. Number seven, dice. This is a pair of dice. And what figure is this? Yes, that's cube. Number eight, globe. What figure is the globe? Yes, globe is a spear. Number nine, box of chocolate. What figure is the box of chocolate? Yes, this is a rectangular freezer. And the last number is drum. What shape is the drum? Yes, drum is a cylinder. This time, let us proceed to the what's new part of the module. On this activity, we will still identify what type of solid figure is shown in each item. Number one, what is the name of this figure? Yes, that's spear. Ball is a spear. Next, number two. What's that? Number two. Number two is, yes, a pyramid. Next, number three, a can. Can is cylinder. Next, number four. Number four is, yes, a cone. Number five, a shoebox. Yes, a rectangular freezer. Objects in the real world are called three-dimensional. So these are examples of three-dimensional figures. Why do you think these figures you shown here on screen are called three-dimensional figures? We call all these as three-dimensional figures because they have the length, the width, and the height, as you see here on the screen. In the world of mathematics class, the three-dimensional figures are called solid figures. And what do you think are the examples of solid figures? What you see here on screen are some of the examples of solid figures. We have rectangular freezem, the spear, the cone, the cylinder, the pyramid, and the cube. All these are examples again of solid figures. And these are three-dimensional figures. All these figures have height, have length, and have width. This time, we will describe each of the solid figures. And we will start with rectangular prism. And how do you describe rectangular prism? Rectangular prism is composed of two rectangular bases. What you see here on screen is an example of rectangular prism. And the bases are located in here, at the top and in the bottom. Rectangular prism is composed of four rectangular lateral faces. The word lateral denotes the side of the three-dimensional figure as opposed to the base. These are the base and the side except for the bases are called the lateral faces of rectangular prism. And we have four lateral faces of the prism. We have this one at the side, at the back, at the, and the other side. So again, lateral surface of an object is all the sides of the object except with the base and the top. And this is an example of rectangular prism. The next solid figure is the cube. And how do we describe cube? A cube is a prism with square base. All its faces are square. This one. No? So all the faces of the cube are square in shape. The next solid figure is the cylinder. And cylinder has two circular base that are congruent and parallel. So these are the circular bases of the cylinder. So you notice the cylinder has two circular bases 
And these bases are congruent and parallel to each other. Again, this is cylinder. The next solid figure is the pyramid. And pyramid, it is a polyhedron whose base is a polygon. And the lateral faces are triangles. So again, this is the pyramid. This is an example of a pyramid. And this is its base. And it's a polygon. When we talk about polygon, polygons are two-dimensional shapes which are made up of straight lines, straight lines, and close. So we have different kinds of uh, pyramid. And this is an example of a square pyramid because we name the kind of pyramid according to its base. Since the base of this pyramid is square, then the name of this pyramid is a square pyramid. And there are other types of pyramid also. That would depend on the kind of polygon in its base. So these are examples of a polygon. So again, polygons are two-dimensional shapes which are closed in shape and made up of straight lines. So triangle, quadrilateral, the triangle, the rectangle, the pentagon, the hexagon, heptagon, octagon, the nonagon, and decagon are all polygons. So we have here another example of a pyramid and this time this is made up of another polygon which is a quadrilateral, specifically a rectangle. So this is a rectangular pyramid. So again, the lateral faces here are made up of triangles. So we have four lateral faces for rectangular pyramid. The next solid figure is called Cone. And how do we describe cone? Cone is a three-dimensional figure which single curve base that tapers to a single point called apex. So again, this is the circular base of the cone which tapers to a point called here apex. So again, this is an example of a cone. The next solid figure is the spear. And how do we describe spear? Spear is a curved surface of points that are all of the same distance from the center. And this is how spear looks like. So, it is curved as you see here. Now, it, it has a curved surface of points. And these points are all the same distance from the center of the spear. Again, let us all identify the solid figures that we discussed earlier. So what's that? Yes, this is a rectangular prism. This one. This is a cylinder. Next, we have a cube. Next is pyramid. Next one. Obviously, that's Spear and the last one we have